Okay. <laughs> I think you can talk to Mike about that. All right. Um, Mr. Chairman, um, as sure, you know, I have to leave. Absolutely. Um, but I just want to, for the next agenda item, and I don't know if I can do this, but um, first off, I want to register that my vote would be yes on the next agenda item. But I, I want to clarify some things that we heard earlier. The Windy Hill Terrell Mill connector was long contemplated before the Braves was ever announced. So Mr. Casella's comments are incorrect. Also, there are almost or over 2,200 parking spots that are now in the Galleria. 638 now and another 1,650 coming in July, which constitutes just under 20% of the parking on the south side of the I-285 bridge. And finally, there are numerous vaults. Um, there have been the accusation that there are no vaults in, on the site. And there are actually four vaults, and there's a rather large vault just outside of the stadium. So um, I, I support the vote for the 11.8 million. As discussed previously when the board approved the list, it is something that the county committed to and um, approved. And the agenda item today is just the uh, how the funding will be done. So um, I'd like to register my vote. Okay, I appreciate support. the comments. Thank you, Commissioner. And good luck with that ceremony down there. All right. Let the uh, celebration uh, go out the door here. Go there, Moby. He was, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the next agenda on the item under this tab. Uh, is to approve the funding of the approved pro list of projects as it relates to SunTrust Park and the surrounding development construction items. And what I've asked uh, Mr. Hosack to do is to put the language and then the project list up on the screen. And what I'm going to let everybody do is I'm going to let everybody read uh, the, the, the wording so you can see what we're talking about here. And if you, if you have to walk right up to the television monitor to do that, I understand. But uh, there's, there's, I think there's, what, four, four screenshots? So there'll be four screenshots. I'm going to let you read through those. And uh, while you're reading through those, I'm going to go ahead and have, I'm going to go ahead and make the motion to, uh, to approve the agenda item. Uh, and then we'll discuss it uh, after it's been seconded, if it is seconded. So that, uh, I make a motion that the Board of Commissioners authorize the funding uh, for the previously approved public transportation infrastructure project list representing the minimum county contribution as described in the transportation infrastructure provision of the development agreement in the amount of $11,293,318 and authorize the corresponding budget transactions and further authorize the chairman to execute the necessary documents. Second. Second. And with that, we'll have discussion. I'll just wait for us to read through it. And, and you'll see uh, the last slide will have all these items with the amounts associated with them. Oh, oh hold on, go back. <laughs> the speed reading chorus isn't for me. And uh, uh, Mr. Hosack, the what is R and E and W and S bond resolution? What do the, what do those initials stand for? That is 
That is actually in the water system, in the water fund, okay. uh, Mr. Chairman. I just want to make sure that people understand what those letters stand for. The it's return and. Steve I'll have to specify. I, I want to make sure. I'm, Steve, is Steve here? No, sir. He is not. Um, I want to make sure Order that he's I, on. I want to make sure that I give you the correct uh, okay. title for the for the E, and I'll find that out right. and make sure the board is aware. And about the W and S bond resolution, that water and sewer. Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry about setting you up late. I apologize. I should have asked earlier. The E is for extension. Oh, uh, thank you, you okay. Mr. Chair. Thank you. All right. So it's the. Uh, did you make a motion? Yes. Second. Uh, we did. Yeah. I'm just waiting for them to finish up. Now we can show the last slide, which is the, the chart. Right, please. And this chart hasn't changed from uh, the one we approved, uh, what, about two months ago. Thank you. I appreciate doing that, making that bigger for everybody to read. So the bottom line is in the bottom right hand corner of the slide is the amount that we'll be paying to the uh, uh, to to uh, settle this issue. Okay, uh, discussion, Commissioner Burrell. Um, yes, as you previously mentioned, this list was approved a few months ago, um, and I would just like to say that, I mean, we, when we approved the MOU and the development agreement, we agreed to the minimum $14 million, and I think um, that with some hard work on, and negotiations on on our behalf with the former county manager and the Braves, I think um, that we found a way to fund this, and um, um, I support it. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner. Any other comments? Commissioner Cupid? Yes, Chairman. I um, appreciate the level of thought that was put into this agenda item. Um, but have shared with the board and publicly that I can't support this list of items here to substantiate the, the county contribution to um, the transportation elements of the Brave Stadium. Um, when we um, drafted our MOU and our development agreement, there were other lists of projects that were included with those documents. And the list of projects that were referred to in those documents are not reflected in how we're substantiating our con contribution today. The transportation projects in, in both of those lists, which we sh even shared publicly online when we had our Braves website up and are included in an exhibit within our development agreement, have projects which any person will consider to be transportation oriented. Um, while our development agreement does provide um, breadth to include sewer, with respect to our transportation um, contribution, um, I think that this would really um, cause people to question um, how direct we are or how um, question our our um, thought our thought and how we verge from transportation oriented projects to to um, the bulk of these projects being from sewer. Um, in light of the funding challenges that we had when we approved the Brave Stadium, um, we had always questioned how the county was able to venture into this project, considering the economic um, challenges that the um, county was getting out of. And we're certainly glad that we are moving into better days today, but as has been shared earlier in our work session, we still are climbing out of a hole here in the county. And there have been other obligations that this county has made. And so it's been very frustrating. It's been very frustrating because when the Brave Stadium came up in 2013, I've been, I was a new commissioner. 
it's very frustrating to see the amount of rapidity and creativity that's been used towards this project, but not on other um, other pressing matters that concern our public and that people have come here and spoken to our board of commissioners about being priorities here in the county. Um, some of the things that we um, have weighed um, yesterday that have direct impact on our service levels have not been given the same level of rapidity of thought and creativity of thought to figure out how we fund those things. But yet we've been very quick to just negotiate our, against our own interest in saying we're going to meet our, par, our prior obligation for this project. I, I would just behoove us to know that we have many prior obligations for our entire county. And um, it's very difficult um, to, um, to support this, um, even though, as anyone knows, the Brave Stadium is a beautiful place. My family and I, we've been there. But um, it's, it's just, um, I, I just think there needs to be some parity in, in how, we, how we reflect in the past, the history with this project and where we stated we were going with it, and also the, the, um, looking at our county and seeing what we're where we're trying to go. Um, so with that, again, I appreciate the amount of thought. This did not happen overnight to get to this list of projects. Um, this was a lot of work. Um, but um, I just can't support it. Thank you for your, your comments, Commissioner. Uh, Commissioner Weatherford. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think I'm somewhat unique in, in that I was not here when uh, the Braves were approved, and I have been on record saying that I certainly would have supported this and am a great supporter of this project. Anyone can tell by the economic growth in that area that it's directly attributed to this project, and I think it was very wise of the county to spend uh, 300 plus million to get a 1.2 billion dollar investment. Our tax digest has grown uh, year over year, and we have yet to see some of the development and some of the projects that are going on there, especially the battery and the Class A office buildings, even come on our tax rolls. But as the chairman says, there's been a lot of Sploss beer cups going on down there, and that one cent helps a lot to our transportation causes. So, by any stretch of the imagination, this has been an economic success and a wise investment. This particular area of the 14 million was somehow or another uh, pushed aside or forgotten about or lost or whatever. And I commend the chairman and Commissioner Ott for coming up with a string of history of this, which we all saw. And there was one particular one that was, and to me, solved the problem. And then we, as a Department of Transportation, listed uh, this particular item, $14 million, as one of the projects around the Brave Stadium. When that was found, then I certainly saw that we we're obligated to this, and I support it and glad that we can finally put this to bed and that we can move on. And I hope uh, as soon as all the other projects come online, we'll see continued economic growth and success in there, and I support this item. This is a, a difficult uh, issue to navigate, having come on uh, only a, a few months ago, seems longer. <laughs> Some days, <It's> <laughs> but but I I I hear I heard both sides, and here's the, here's the challenge. First of all, um, it boils down to me a simple issue: of we gave our word, and we have to do it. Now the the question is how we do it, and that's the point that Commissioner Cupid is raising, and I think it's a valid one, um, which makes you know uh, my commitment to not only her but the rest of the commissioners to make sure that whenever we have ventures, whether regardless of the magnitude, my commitment to them uh, has been no surprises, that I, that I get out in front of it and tell them why I think this is important, but more importantly, that I hear their voices and let them vote their conscience. Um, the Braves, the, the, the history of whether or not this will be a successful venture has yet to be proven. It certainly is on the right road right now, but I've been doing working with uh, with the uh, finance and some outside people to to work on a uh, potent on a uh, return on investment based on what we know right now, and uh, then I plan to give that product to the to the uh, commissioners here real soon. So that again, when we comment about issues like this, that uh, I give them as much information as I have. So when I speak to something, they know where I'm coming from. So I do not make light of this matter. I do not. I understand the implications 
Uh, this is more than just uh, about a $14 million uh, investment by the county. This goes much deeper than that about what does it mean to be a county government and how do we run that government? And uh, the process that we used to get here, uh, I hope that everyone, uh, at least the board sees that I did everything I possibly could to explain where I was coming from. But more importantly, I hope the commissioners always realize is that they, did, they felt no restraint on how they would address this issue with me or the other commissioners that we'd respect their opinion. And, uh, and then, you know, we would, and then we would vote on it, which is how government works in this county. So uh, I guess the message I'm taking here is that we'll be watching this very closely because it is a, it is a people's money. It is. And we're going to make sure that we live up to our commitments, but we have other commitments in this county too that are just as important, if not more important. Uh, taking care of our uh, of our employees, who I believe are undercompensated, uh, the commitments to green space. There are a number out there, and they're all important to me, and I will do as much as I can, as I did on this project, to show the commissioners, you know, uh, put it out in front of them and give them the time to uh, to consider it. And then, as I tell people, no, we do no voting until it's time, which to me is when all the facts are in and then we're comfortable making the vote, we'll do that. So I appreciate the comments by all the commissioners here this morning. I do not make light of how the gravity of this project. Um, I'll be very uh, um, honest in saying that I'm not quite sure yet about public public private investments means that both sides bring equal competency to that issue. And I'm not sure yet that our, our government is structured to take advantage or to work with this, uh, this magnitude project. But uh, the, I think the commissioners know where I'm coming from on that, and we will not just let this be a, a one and done. We'll continue to monitor this project very carefully, but also commit to the county on other projects to let them know that uh, we're just as serious about bringing those issues forward. And, uh, and, I, and I really appreciate Commissioner Cupid's comments about the creativity. We need to bring that also to these big issues. Uh, so with that, I only have one technical question. I think even though Commissioner Ott uh, said he would support it, we cannot register his vote because he's not here. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, I just want to make sure because I don't want to have people coming back <laughs> six months saying uh, we need to redo this. So with that, uh, I will call the question. Okay. It's okay. It's all right. So it passes uh, three to one uh, with uh, Commissioner Cupid in opposition and uh, Commissioner Ott being excused for another commitment. So with that, thank you very much.